Hello, Covenant family. It's Pastor David Kling. And look where I am in our sanctuary, where we're going to be, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, June 7th, gathering as a uh, small service uh, that will be a wonderful celebration of reopening. Um, you know, I want to make really clear that everyone is invited to this service. Uh, no one, you don't need permission, you don't need a reservation. Uh, what we would like you to do as the elders of the church is to read carefully the CDC guidelines for uh, at-risk populations, uh, the uh, guidelines from the elders that we put out in a letter last week, and also our play-by-play -play diagram of what it's going to look like and what our expectations are for worship. And read those documents and we want you to make your own decision if coming to in-person worship is the right decision. We heard from many of you that you're going to continue to worship at home, and that's great. I'm going to be investing a lot of my time throughout the month of June filming worship services so that we can share a great worship service together safely in your own home. And for those of you who will uh, be coming, I have a special request. If you're planning on attending in-person worship in June, would you please volunteer to be an usher? I think we're probably going to need about 30 ushers to do this safely and to also uh, give people breaks so it's not the same people doing it every week. It's going to be a team effort to worship safely together. And I'd love for you to be a part of that team. If you'd like to volunteer as an usher, you can get in contact with me, with Rita Eisnagel, one of our elders, or one of our trustees, Joan Moorhead. All the contact information is in the courts, or you can just email info at covhsv.org. Covenant, we are a family. Whether we're going to worship here in the sanctuary or at home, whatever fits your choices, we're excited to support you and to be in this together. So let's be praying for each other, supporting each other, and calling each other to express our love and our care. I'm so thankful to get to be your pastor in this crazy season, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you throughout this week. Talk soon.